Hey, Mark Slaughter of the band Slaughter, and you are watching Tattoo.com. Hey, everybody, it's Miss Chibi Smell, live from Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine, Tattoo.com, and Rockwell Radio on the Edge. And I am standing backstage with fucking Mark Slaughter. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. How's it going? Good. Good. You still make me fangirl. I, I get really nervous around this. That's awesome. <laughs> and it. speaking of that, you put on one hell of a show tonight. Well, you, thank you. you know. I really had a great time. It was a great venue, and... Uh, you know, it's nice to be out in this part of the country. Slaughter is great. Slaughter's been like a lifeline to me since I've been a teenager. But you are out doing some solo stuff. Do you want to talk to me Just about all things, Mark? Solo stuff. Yeah, I have a record out called Halfway There uh, on EMP, which is Dave Olson's label. And uh, real proud of it. I had a great time recording it, writing it, doing the whole everything but on it. And, uh, and it's out, and uh, I'm proud of it. So check it out. If you like hard rock and heavy metal, you'll dig it. So um, what, what promoted you to do that? Was it more um, just to like be more free, I, I think, more artistic? I think what it is is it gets to a point, again, music is art. And a lot of people are looking for the, the, the money grab, so to speak. And really where, what this was for me is putting art out. I, I record when I'm home. I write when I'm home. And, you know, it's what I do. So why wouldn't I put something out? Because it's what I do. So that's that's a key point. Just keep the art going, and then I, you know, the next the next batch is coming soon. You know. You know, I I, I talked about this the other day with a band, and also on our radio show is um, the record company asks for what they want, and mm-hmm. then they play a song or the three songs they pick from the band, right. and that's really all the public knows. And then they love it, and then it plays and plays and plays, and then they're sick of it, and then they don't really know what the artist really has. So I love right. it when the artist goes off and does something that's from inside out right right well it's definitely not it's not typical i mean there's still flavor of slaughter in there obviously but i you know i can take a little departure and do some other other things you know it's that that's the whole idea is just make music that that hopefully you know has a, a chord sound chord to somebody's heart you know that's the key I love that. Mm-hmm. speaking of art um tattooing is art however we talked about how you didn't have any do you want to tell us your I, tattoo you know what i and i is crazy i don't have any tats at all and uh bob tyrell oh, he's a who is artist. who is just freaking phenomenal there's a couple of these artists that i follow because i love the art of what they do it's just there's never anything that just spoke to me and i think that anybody with tats understands is something that has to speak to you and i just never had it and then it's kind of like one of those things where i jump you know, here in my in, in my fifties, decide that I'm going to start tattooing. It's really, it's, it's like, no, I'm I'm good. But I mean, I do I do appreciate the artist, and if anybody's going to get some work done, Bob is probably one of the most amazing artists. Or check out his Instagram because he blows my mind all the time what he does. He he is a true master. We had the honor of meeting him and working with him a few times, and he is just even his his non tattoo work bl- blows me away. He's yeah. just. He's an amazing talent, and he loves rock and roll, and, you know, it all goes hand in hand. I, I think that, you know, he, even my girlfriend and that side of it, she's got tats, and I love him. It's just I don't have any. Go figure. Well, that's, that's cool, though, because right, it used to be like, I'm a rebel. I've got a tattoo. It says something. It says I belong to the rock community, I brought the community right. or I'm in prison, whatever. But now it's just like, oh, i got to do it, mm-hmm. and it doesn't mean anything to anybody it does and and i think that again it's something that has to speak to the person or the individuals i always wanted this here so they you know they know what they want and i just again the only thing i ever thought of is 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 doing it remember the push mowers when you're back when you're a kid is doing a push mower in green and and yellow and just putting it right down here and just having it where there's a shave mark like it looks like it went by but that's how demented my mind is so better not do any because they'll, they'll all be a joke you know what's funny about that is when he did his head i wanted him to put mel's bitch on his head <laughs> for some reason he refused that but i i have to felt comfortable with yeah that. I, I can see that <laughs> see that an egg crack and he's like that's been done i'm like yeah but he's never said mel's bitch underneath it so <laughs> i lost that battle yeah but, you know. well hey there's always tomorrow Right. There is. And we so appreciate your time because you were out there kicking ass on stage and then you did a hellacious meet and greet. You are so kind to your oh, fans. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm very thankful for A, being able to do this this many years and B, for all the people still there. So thanks to you. And uh, I love your magazine. You guys have some great stuff. Love the art. You guys are great photographers and uh, look forward to seeing uh, more work from you as well. 
Well, we look forward to getting back on the road and seeing you out, picking up your music. And you guys heard it. He's got Mark Slaughter with Slaughter, and he's got Mark Slaughter as, I guess, Mark. That's it. There it is. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.